The business started in 1891. It was my husband's great-grandfather that started the business, great-grandfather and grandfather. Attend this competition in Grena, Sweden, the South Central Sweden. And we lived in Sweden for a year and a half. We got to meet candy makers from all over Germany, Poland, Denmark. It was lots of fun. We had to make Swedish candy on their equipment, their recipe. So that was a challenge. Hard candy is what we're famous for. So basically you're uh, you're adding sugar and corn syrup and water and you bring it to a boil. The Food Network has been here, the secret oh, life wow. of hard candy. So we've had some nice highlights. And then fish candy is a traditional candy along this section of the Ohio River. Started in Madison, Indiana in the 1850s. So we've been making fish candy here since the beginning. And called a Majeska, uh, which was named after Madame Majeska uh, in the 1880s. Hi, my name is Shalonda Midkiff. I am a New Albany resident. I have been a faithful customer here at Shimps in Jeffersonville for seven plus years. Fortunately, I'm employed right next door, so I do visit Shimps daily. Um, my favorite here at Shimps is the Whorehound Candy. Um, I do live by it. It is um, a natural herb that does cure some coughs and colds and allergies. It's a 1928 vending machine, and it still works very nicely, thank you. All you need is a nickel. And we have the choice of bullseye, Tootsie Roll, Fireball, very, very hot, forget that one. Peppermint, root beer, and what looks like a little peanut. And you put your nickel in, maybe we'll have the Tootsie Roll. Um, we don't have any kids, so anybody want to be adopted, <laughs> you're standing in line here. Everybody's interested, but it's a lot of hard work, so nobody's stepped up to the plate quite yet. Uh, carrying on of the tradition of downtown Jeffersonville. With the Horizon News, this is Aaron Mann.